What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some scrolls. And this is going to be my somewhat comprehensive scrolling guide unless I miss something. So let's start. First things first, Golux. What do we scroll Golux with? Well this is the most obvious one. All of the Golux items that I have are scrolled with Golux scrolls. If you use any other scroll that is not Golux scroll, you should be stop playing this game. Anyway, so let me show you what Golux scrolls are. So these are the Golux scrolls and you get it from the Golux coin shop. And these give 4 weapon attack and 3 stats. I'll show you where you can get it for those of you who are new players. Golux. So you talk to this girl and you get the Golux scroll on the bottom. And you make sure you get the advanced Golux scroll and you don't get the other one. Don't get this one. Because this one's only for solid. Golux and crack Golux, so don't get this one. Just get the advanced Golux one and scroll your Golux items with that. So that's Golux. And then now we talk about accessories that aren't Golux or Dominator pendant. So we talk about things such as uh, Sweetwater and Meister Rings. Another video covering these three items, and essentially what you want to use is premium accessory scrolls. So let me show you what those are. Premium accessory. Oh wait, it's like premium scroll for accessory for attack or some shit like that. Yeah, so things like this. We want to use these scrolls on it. And these sometimes come in the form of event shops and they offer basically one bill per scroll and these are definitely worth getting. You can also get this from Gachapon, but it's a very low, low chance. But these are the best scrolls to use for accessories. Another option that you have is Prime Scrolling, and those are expensive as well. Uh, I forgot what Prime Scrolls are called. I think 9th Anniversary Prime Scroll for Accessories. Nope, not this one. Accessories. There we go. So these are also worth using on. Uh, Sweetwaters and Meisters, uh, they tend to be a lot cheaper when Marvel and Philo comes around but right now they're extremely expensive so just scroll when these scrolls are cheap, when Primes are cheap or when the premium accessory scrolls from the event shop are cheap. Those are those two are the best scrolls to use for accessories that aren't Golux or Dominator Pendant. For Dominator Pendant you want to use Arcarium scrolls which I'm going to post up in this section right here and essentially these aren't really scroll looking like but they are scrolls and what you want to do is use a protection scroll with each one of these little gems as you scroll your dominator pendant for those of you who are making a sweet water pendant you're going to need to scroll your dominator pendant with these scrolls and these are the best scrolls to use i think they're even better than primes actually because of the three stat and three attack they give which is equivalent to slightly equal to if not better than primes so the, those are definitely the best scrolls to use you can also use tracing but tracing is very very bad for accessories and let me show you why so let's say we go for tracing oh i can't use this here hold on let me get out okay so let's say i want to trace my gold belt which you should never do by the way the most you can get from tracing is five stats a prime gives double the stats, same thing with a premium accessory scrolls, it gives double the stats, but it's in attack form. So you never want to trace, unless you want to like Eno it down the line and you don't mind Enoing it down the line, you can trace it for now, but you never want to trace, because for endgame it's going to hurt you quite a bit. But it's a good temporary solution and it is there, but I definitely do not recommend it. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is hearts. So for hearts, I would suggest, depending on what heart you have, if you have an outlaw heart, you have to prime it. Like there is just no other option. Don't do stupid stuff with an outlaw heart because you're going to end up enoing down the line. If you spent that much on the outlaw heart, you're pretty much not going to be using stupid scrolls on it. So for hearts, you have primes, x scrolls, or evolution attack scrolls for attack. Evil 
scrolls for attack you get from Marvel and I think maybe Philo as well. Those give 8 attack or magic attack and they are untradeable. So for those scrolls you can basically use on hearts that are not outlaw. So let me show you which hearts I will recommend you using Evo scrolls on. For outlaws you only want to use primes and x scrolls. Uh, preferably primes because they tend to be more affordable. But you do have the option of x scrolls. So for evo scrolls what is good to use those on is things like titanium heart which are you know untradeable like sweet water after equipping so those are kind of a pain in the butt because you can't trade them but you know i do have an evo scroll titanium heart right here and they give eight attack each or you can also use fairy heart which again same thing you know use the uh Evil scrolls like this. This is a scroll with Evil scrolls, and they give eight attack each. So those are your two options. You have also one more option if you like a full tradable heart. But keep in mind that uh, this is dedicated to a certain type of android, and for this heart, it's fully tradable, but you can only use it with a futuroid. So just keep that in mind. And this gives at most eighty attack, which is not bad. And but the thing with this is the potential is very bad because of the low level. But the good thing about this is just it's fully tradable. So you can use Evil Attack Scrolls on these. You can also use Primes, but I think it's kind of a waste and I personally would not do it. But it's up to you. These are only my recommendations. And of course, I'll post a summary list at the end of the video. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Now let's, let's move on to the weapon. The weapon, I scroll this with 15% scrolls. The reason I did 50% 15% traces is that they give 9 attack compared to primes which give 10 attack so it's just a better bang for your buck in my opinion. Traces are just so cheap while primes are so expensive and it's only like 1 attack and maybe a few stat difference and it's not really a huge thing. I think even with star forcing and everything considered it's only going to be like 20 attack or 30 attack worth of difference and it's not worth the money that you invest in primes the next thing we're going to talk about is armor and for armor we talk about things like cra or canes and yeah just basically cra's essentially and for cra and arcanes you essentially want to use 30 percent traces so let me show you which one this is so the 30 percent trace which gives seven strength or whatever your main stat is and those are really good for armor pieces because they're very affordable and it's only a three strength worth of difference from primes and x scrolls so i think i don't think it's worth to invest the money into primes and x scrolls for armor pieces but you can do what you please so again for armor i would recommend 30 percent traces maybe primes if you're whale well enough and maybe x scrolls if you're just ginormous whale and then next we have shoulder. So for shoulder, I will recommend using ICOGs. And for ICOGs, you want to aim for a minimum of four attack, maybe even six attack on the first scroll, because the first slot is always the easiest. So you want to aim for four attack minimum and six attack is definitely preferable on the very first slot. And then after that, you can basically go for, I think, four attack minimum on each succeeding scroll. And of course, scrolling shoulder, you would need to use return scrolls and ICOGs. And let me show you what ICOGs are. So ICOGs you can usually get from the event shop. And how you can tell these are ICOGs is if you see on the description, it says it offers more improvement than a chaos scroll of goodness. So the whole more improvement part basically it tells you that it's an icog and you can usually get that from event shops or marvel i don't think they are available in auction house but yeah again six attack on first scroll and then all the scrolls after you want to use four attack minimum and how you do that with icogs is you want to use something called a return scroll which can be found inside cash shop let me lag for a few more minutes here all right so for return scroll 
you want to use these things and obviously there are return scrolls in the reward coin shop as well or reward shop maybe reward shop and you get two of those per month i think i used mine already so it's not there but yeah normally it'd be like right here i use mine already so yeah they're the same amounts but it's just in reward points you want to use the return scroll first and then after you use the return scroll you want to use the icog and they'll ask you if you want to keep your scrolling or you want to revert it back into the original position so you always want to use return icog for any slot after the first slot because you have the option of picking otherwise you will just end up with very rng and badly scrolled shoulder so just keep that in mind so now we move on to gloves and for gloves i would recommend using tracing uh 30 trace for attack so let me see if i can pull up a glove here so for gloves right here we're going to use 30 percent for attack and these gives three attack which is basically almost the same as a prime not really but it's, it's like one attack away from a prime score essentially so it's not a huge difference and again this is the best bang for your buck in my opinion so i definitely recommend using 30 percent trace however if you are a whale you can definitely go for again prime scrolls and what you would use is just any typical armor prime and let me show you that in auction house Surrey prime scroll for armor so you just use these and again these are very expensive and i don't think it's worth the money but you can definitely use it it's an option you can also use something called an x scroll x scroll is something like this and again these are very expensive this is only for a weapon right now but there are armor ones i just don't know the name of it at the moment but you know these are the x scrolls uh, as you can see symbolized on the scroll there is an x so that's that and then next we have badge and for badge we do the same exact thing as we did for the shoulder which is essentially icogging it aiming for preferably six attack on the first scroll and every scroll after that four attack minimum and i don't think it's that hard to get i heard it's one in 20 scrolls or one in 30 scrolls so it's definitely not that bad definitely icog your shoulder don't go tracing i mean icog your badge Definitely ICOG your badge, don't go tracing it or I don't even think you can trace it actually but yeah you can only use ICOG if you guys have a badge. For those of you who do not have a badge, rest in peace. Anyways, last item we're going to talk about is accessories for or pet equipment for pets. So for those of you who plan to go endgame and don't see yourself quitting anytime soon and use something like a vac pet or some end game pet that you plan to keep forever i recommend premium asset, uh, premium pet scrolls for those of you who are maybe quitting maybe not quitting you don't know you know we'll see what happens kind of thing i recommend using either the free scrolls from event shops so let me show you which ones they are is it the shop no it's not it's the shop yeah so these scrolls which give two attack half of what a premium gives and if you're early game to mid game these are very nice because they're free and they're very cheap in auction house so i definitely recommend getting these if you want to use it on a pet that's not a vac pet honestly i don't think it's worth using premium scrolls and above on non-vac pets so even for my glory i use one of those uh two to four attack pet scrolls because they're just so cheap and affordable the only one that i didn't was the glory i mean the low pony that i had because the low pony had a very bad scrolling at all two so i just replaced it and i'm kind of late to uh somewhat end game now so i think it's worth for me because it's a again a vac pet and i think for vac pet is somewhat worth uh using a premium scroll otherwise i would just use the two attack ones which do give a decent amount of stat for pets and if you don't like that let's say you are super whale and you want to go hard you can again use the x scroll which i don't know what the name is but it's like x scroll for pet equipment for attack i'm pretty sure you guys can look at it pretty easily so if you guys want to go with the option that's definitely a, an option that you guys can take 
uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this and want to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.